Here's a video on some artifacts that I have for sale. And I'll show you some of the ones I got. I'm selling right now. Got this little pocket axe from Pennsylvania, Cumberland County, Pennsylvania. It's got a, it's a decent axe. I want uh, 40 on that one. I'll ship that to you for 40. It's a nice little axe. Get this hoof pestle. I have a quartzite. It's from Butler County, Ohio. I could do like 30 on that one. I got this really nice grooved axe here. It's a very nice example. It's from Pennsylvania. Bought a whole bunch of Pennsylvania axes. I got a little store online that I'm selling a few pieces, but I figured I'd make a video. See if anybody on YouTube would want some stuff. 100 on this axe. Got this big axe from Pennsylvania also. It's a double, once once a double groove, it's been salvaged. It's got a little wear on it. Uh, I could do like 85 on that one if someone really wanted it. It's a nice axe. And I got this monster axe, but I gotta have a little bit more on it. It's seven and a half inches long. From Cumberland County, Pennsylvania. It is a monster axe. It's a huge, huge axe. I'd have to have probably like 150 on that one. That one's a good one. I haven't had it very long. I just got it the other day. And uh, it's a really nice piece. Yeah, 150 on that one. That's a big boy. And now to the other pieces. I have this piece right here from Pennsylvania also. It's a tie-on banner stone. We got either polished steatite or chlor. It might be chlorite. It's one of the two materials, but it's been grooved instead of drilled. But my god, look at the polish on that piece. This piece is an absolute killer artifact. And I got a good price on it. I only have 150 on it. And it's absolutely authentic. It's a good deal on a banner stone. Even if it's not drilled. If it was drilled, I'd, cheap as I'd go, it'd be 200 something, but 150. And that might be chlorite, which, if that's chlorite, that's well worth it. Um, I got these three Ford Ancient artifacts. Let me give me a second. There's a. Um, a stone bead that's really, really nice. A shell disc bead that's partially drilled and a catfish barbed pendant spine. Uh, I'll do 30 on all these. These are from Hamilton County, Ohio, found on a Fort Ancient site. Nice pieces. That stone bead is incredibly nice. It's, it almost looks like quartzite to me. It's semi-translucent. It's not shell either. Too hard for shell. Um, that's why I wanted a little bit more for them. I got this uh, E-notch Thebes. It's a rare type. They got a rare orange flint ridge. It's a little rough, but it's an authentic E-notch. From Butler County, Ohio. I'll do 40 on that one. It's a really nice point. No-brainer. Um, this right here is a Dixon point. From Henderson County, Illinois. It's about three inches long. It's pretty well made. I'll do thirty on that one if someone wanted it. It's a nice, nice Adina. Um, I think I got this Paleo Stanfield. I think it's a Paleo Clovis knife or a Stanfield. It's some sort of Paleo knife from Butler County, Ohio. It's a really nice one. It's um. I have 45 on that one. That one's a pretty nice point. Pretty nice point. And got this really nice Davis County, Kentucky Hornstone Adina. It's got a 
than usual. It's got a ground base. It's heavily ground. It's a very well made point. 30 on that one. Uh, if someone wants this, I think it's a King's Corner Notch from Missouri. I can do $20 on it. I've had it for a little while and I kind of want to get rid of it to get some new stuff. I could do 20 And I've got this Oklahoma Dalton. It's got a tip nick and a little nick right there. But if someone does restoration, this is great. And I only have $20 on it. It's a nice point for the money. Only $20 on a Dalton. Not the best one in the world, but hey, it's $20. Then I got. Let's see. I got these two archaic points from Ohio. There, one's a Thebes and one's like an archaic bevel. Here's the Thebes. It's, it's a little beat up. But it's got a really heavily ground base. Shocked and flint. It's a nice one. And I got this one too. I'll do like 30 for both of those. Then last I got... Uh, three Kajak, more Kajaks and points. I got this one. It's some sort of archaic. Slightly beveled. These are all from Ohio. Got that one. I believe this is a raccoon side notch. Kind of like an intrusive bound point. Around a Kajakton. Real thin. And I got this one. This one's real nice. It's got a little nick on the tip. but It's paper thin. And a really nice point. I could do for those three, I could do 30 for those, I mean 25 for those three, not 30. And they're pretty decent points for the money. I mean, they're not G10s, but uh, they're for 25 bucks. You can't really beat those two for three points because you're better than average. <laughs> all right, thanks for looking. Let me know if you all are interested in anything. Just send me a message. Thank you.